O come, O come, Emmanuel is our Advent prayer. O come, God, and be with us. And yet we also rejoice as that hymn that Lynn just played then continues with each refrain. Rejoice, rejoice, and today is Rejoice Sunday according to our scripture readings. But I'll go ahead and give you a heads up now that we won't have those particular scripture readings that are printed on your bulletins. Rather, uh, we are celebrating today the children's Christmas program, and they'll be using their own readings as they proclaim the good news to us. Jesus Christ is our Savior. I rejoice with you this day that you are here, that you chose, have chosen to worship with us at Mount Olive. Uh, last Sunday I was away, and it's nice to be back with you today. I was in Florida where I served my internship 20 years ago. The congregation was celebrating their 55th anniversary. They had started on December 17, 1960, was their first worship gathering. Uh, so they invited me to come be part of their 55th anniversary. They told me to make sure to tell Mount Olive thank you for loaning Pastor Dave to them for the weekend. And uh, in return, they would send us some nice warm weather up from Florida. So courtesy of that congregation yesterday and today, we have some nice warm, hopefully sunny weather too, don't we? Uh, we enjoyed our time down there seeing some familiar friends and places and celebrating and worshiping with uh, the people there. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas around here, uh, in spite of the weather. Uh, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas in this sanctuary. Thank you to everyone who helped set up the Chris Tree Friday and again yesterday, Friday and Saturday, as well as the nativity scene in the back, and all the people who have participated in helping to bring Christmas forward, especially this day as we celebrate with the children, including the children's participation yesterday in practice and again this morning. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, hopefully also in your own homes and in your own hearts. Following worship today, there is a spaghetti lunch downstairs. It's a fundraiser lunch uh, to help uh, raise funds, to help feed those in need, especially our homeless population around the area. The table that's in the fellowship hall or heritage hall that's set up with food on it has a thrivent financial for Lutherans display because a portion of uh, funds were given by Thrivent to help provide for today's lunch. So that table is a reminder of that downstairs. And then at 3 o'clock this afternoon, Micah's cupboard is packing boxes, 104 boxes of food for 527 people to last at least for a week of Christmas break. 104 needy school children will receive these gifts this week before they take a break for, for Christmas, and then their families will also uh, be beneficiaries. 527 people. Both these ways, the spaghetti lunch and the Micah's cupboard food boxes, are ways that our gospel text reminds us to bear fruits worthy of repentance. Some of the ways that we might bear fruits and to help love our neighbors as ourself, as Jesus Christ has invited us to. Are there other announcements or prayer concerns to mention today? Mary. Today's the last day for poinsettias. Today's the last day for poinsettias. To sign up for those, we'll have those in here soon. And next Sunday, we'll see the poinsettias. Next Sunday at 930 Anyone interested, but our 9.30 a.m. Sunday school time, people will meet here, this parking lot maybe, or the upper parking lot, and go to Food Lion and purchase food for other needy families sponsored by our Sunday school program, and then come back here and have some fun with that. But being going to Food Lion next week, another way we bear fruits worthy of repentance. Other announcements, prayer concerns. Today, December 13, is a commemoration of a saint, Saint Lucia, Saint Lucia. Uh, she was martyred in the year 304. She died uh, because of her Christian faith in the year 304 on this day, December 13. Lucia means light, as in lucent or Lucia. Her name means light, and in the Scandinavian tradition, her day is a celebration of the impending increase of daylight in the winter. Swedish festivities for this day include a young girl dressed as Lucia, 
wearing a white gown and a ring of lighted candles on her head. We don't have anybody coming today that I know of who's going to dance around with candles on her head, uh, but she needs to be careful if you see someone doing that. Uh, make sure they're safe. This is a reminder of shining light into the darkness of our sin. Is a central theme of Advent. Today's Gospel text reminds us of John the Baptist's call for repentance with vivid language and a passion for preparing the way for Jesus, saying, You brood of vipers, bear fruits worthy of repentance. I won't call you a brood of vipers, but I will invite you, sinners and saints, angels and shepherds, to stand this day as we begin our worship gathered in the name of God, the creator of Lucia, of light. In the name of Jesus Christ, the light of the world, and in the Holy Spirit, who is the light who illumines our path. Amen. In this season of light, let us go before God and confess our words and actions, how our words and actions contribute to the darkness instead of adding to the light. God of love and light, we confess that we are not always the light bearers you desire us to be. We shine a spotlight on the transgressions of others while trying to keep our own sins hidden in the dark. We burn bridges by being impatient, opinionated, and judgmental. We inflame others by lashing out in anger. We go through our days enveloped in the gloom of fear and doubt. We let our witness become a smoldering ember until it dies out completely. Forgive us, Jesus, the everlasting light. Come to us, abide with us, our Lord Emmanuel. Teach us to walk as children of light, surrounded by your love, forgiveness, and healing. We ask this in the name of Christ. God is light, and in God there is no darkness at all. If we walk in the light as Christ is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sin. grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Let us pray. 
Stir up the wills of your faithful people, Lord God, and open our ears to the preaching of John, that rejoicing in your salvation, we may bring forth the fruits of repentance through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Welcome and Merry Christmas to all. Please join us in singing verses 1 and 2 of O Come, All Ye Faithful. Please remain seated. from Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. You are to give him the name Jesus because he will save the, his people from their sins. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar, Augustus, that all the world should be cast. And Joseph and Mary, who was heavy with child, also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem.
could that child be a king? We may not know much about kings, but God knows about us. We may not care much about kings, but God cares about us, and he knows what kind of king we need and how that king should come. Chapter 2, verse 8 says, And there were shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. There were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over of their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. They were so afraid that the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. Luke chapter 2, verse 7 says, She gave birth to her firstborn son and placed him in a manger.
Matthew chapter 1, verse 18 says, This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. Chapter 18, verse 16 says, Let the little children come to me. O come, little children, O come, one and all, to Bethlehem stable and Bethlehem stall, and see with rejoicing this glorious sight our Father in heaven has sent us this night. can I give him as poor as I am? If I were a shepherd, I would give him a lamb. If I were a wise man, I would do my part. But what can I give him? I can give him my heart. Remember the manger, remember the star, remember the wise people who came from afar, remember the baby so tiny and new, God's great gift of love given for you. Remember the stable so humble and bare, remember the hope that was filled in the air, remember the mother whose heart sang for joy, and the gentle new father who cradled his boy. 
Remember the angels who watched from above and sheltered the babe in the wings of their love. Remember the shepherds who knelt and adored the tiny new king who was surely their Lord. Remember the creatures who all gathered round and welcomed the child without making a sound. Remember the cold, lonely darkness that night that was changed for all time by God's great gift of light. 